So you might have heard of randonauting. I hadn't until about a month ago. Since then, it has totally enveloped my mind. The amount of bogus that the creators spray into the world, the people who are willing to eat that bullshit up. They claim they have a quantum number generator. They claim they can break you out of your reality tunnel. They make all of these claims, but they never back them up. I want to test them on those claims today and find out once and for all, is Rando Nordic a fake? Now, I assume there are people in the audience who have no clue what Randonautica is. And for those people, I'll play this video. So here's how this works. Our three Randonauts will use the Randonautica app to access a QRNG, or Quantum Random Number Generator, which, you guessed it, generates a truly random number in the form of coordinates. The app can limit the radius of the quantum point so that we're able to explore the world directly around us without driving all day. And to make things even more interesting, randonauting isn't just about exploring the world around us. It's also produced some pretty interesting synchronicities or coincidences. And some experts are theorizing the quantum process may even be influenced by the user's thoughts and consciousness. This is why we ask our randonauts to set an intention for their journey before using the app. These intentions can be big or small, round or trivial. I've been known to be a bit skeptical at times, but when someone tells me that they're using lasers and, and quantum mechanics to randomly generate numbers, I feel like I just I feel like you might be able to understand why I find that a bit sketchy. But no, <laughs> contrary to my original assumption, they are actually doing that. There's a website hosted by the Australian National University, and it can randomly generate all sorts of things, including the colors that you're seeing right now. Each one individually and randomly generated by a few quirks in quantum mechanics. But how does this all actually work? Well, let's focus on numbers right now because the colors they're just going to complicate things. Yoshi. You know how space is empty? No light and no matter? Well, that's a vacuum and it's the reason why in space nobody can hear you scream. Because there's no air for the sound waves to travel through. Well, it's not completely empty. Not on a quantum level anyway. Quantum is a word which around here means very, very, very small. I'm talking atom levels of small and I'd try to explain to you how small that is, but I can't comprehend that myself. The funny thing about an atom is that 99.9999999999996% is just completely empty space. But it's not completely empty. It's filled with virtual particles, constantly being created and destroyed. This is all very complicated and honestly deserves its own four plus year university course. It gets into stuff like zero point energy, which apparently is a real thing and not just something that Syndrome from the Incredibles invented. So these virtual particles inside of this vacuum, they create a, an electromagnetic field, yes. And it's the same type of thing that surrounds the earth and makes compasses work and protects us from harmful radiation that the sun emits. Except this one is created by not the core of our Earth, but a vacuum. Now, using very, very special lasers, <laughs> the Secure Quantum Communications Group is able to measure the fluctuations in the electromagnetic field of this vacuum. And then those are streamed from their lab directly to their website. Holy shit, that's so complicated. And I'm, I'm going to leave a link in the description if you'd like to check it out because it's honestly really interesting stuff that they're doing over there. I'd highly recommend it. So they're not lying. Not about the whole random number generation thing anyway, but I, I, I just still don't totally believe that when it comes to the whole your mind is connected to some numbers that are being produced in a lab in Australia and that can change the outcome of reality. Wait a second. If those points that they're generating are connected to space time. Hold on, I've just thought of something. Okay, so bear with me here. I'm kind of just 
uh, throwing shit out of my mouth, but the Earth is constantly rotating, right? And it's constantly orbiting around the sun, and the sun is constantly orbiting around the black hole in the center of our galaxy. And our galaxy is constantly moving upwards at an incredible velocity. So if you're tr using these numbers to track space, and you're going to these magical spaces, how, how is it, how is space not, you know, if we're never in the same point ever, ever again, how do you know this space is magic? And it, it won't be magic for very long, I mean, like I could, can't get to a magic spa it's like trying to get to the end of the rainbow, you know, it's, you'll never really get there. You, the, the magic spaces will constantly be moving. So to help you understand what I'm babbling on about, here we have a model of the sun and the earth. Completely inaccurate. Thank you. I know. Made it myself. Let's pretend you're down here on earth. Hello. You have your time machine with you and you're ready to go on a little trip to the future, you say, as you enter your machine. Oh, but don't be so eager. You've forgotten all about the model I already showed you. The one that's moving constantly. If you were to step into your time machine right now and pop out of existence, well, when you popped back in, where would you be? Well, you'd be in empty space, wouldn't you? Because the Earth would be long gone. So we have determined that, yes, they are quantum randomly generating numbers, but I don't know how they get, get into these magical spaces. And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand but what you need to understand is that the people behind Random Nautica, Rando, Rando, Rando Nautica, are brilliant marketers. All right, let me put on some tunes. Yeah, that's good. They're so good. They made a reality show about the app that they're making. Ready or Rando Not is not a typical reality show. In that reality show, one of the contestants sets their intention for my first Rando Not trip is aviation because I'm pursuing a pilot's license. And then during the whole show, there are planes going overhead. But being a genius marketer doesn't mean you're a genius in other ways. For example, they left their coordinates in the actual edit that they put out to the public. You can just search up where they're at. And let me tell you, they are very close to an airport. So close, in fact, that later in the episode, after I'd already done all this Googling and been super hacker mode and gone, ha ha, you're near an airport, I've exposed you. They go to the airport. They go to the airport. Yet every time there's a plane in the sky, they're like, holy shit, there's a plane in the sky. 737. Yep, spirit. Ooh, Spirit Airlines. Cut out the airport bit, man. I really vibe with the aviation dude though. He's got the right idea. I expect there to be a lot of evidence um, and excess of data. By the end of the show, I don't think they've actually convinced him. So today's random art experience was a bit plain. Get it. One of the producers on the show is a contestant and her aim is to find some purple shit. All right. <laughs> Also, at the very start of the very first episode of this reality show, they mentioned that footage is available for skeptics. I am yet to find that footage, and I am definitely a skeptic. So I'm gonna email Comrade himself. Who's Comrade? Who's Comrade? All right. <laughs> I'll explain to you who Comrade is. Holy fuck. We found a dance party. They're spinning records. <laughs> How cool is that? The person filming this footage that I tried to stabilize so hard, but I just couldn't because the, look at the way he filmed. The, what was he doing when he was filming this? Like, it, he's standing still. Like, how could you make something that shaky? Uh, how do you make something that is that shit? The dude that you can hear in this terribly filmed video is Comrade. I don't know if that's his real name or a pseudonym he goes by, but I do know he created Rando Nautica. And he has a Twitter where he posts 
he posts. He's interested in such things as UFOs and... Oh, fuck. Existential investigator. God, but Kelsey, you're so critical. You haven't even tried the app. Yes, I have. I did. I tried it and it was nighttime. It took me out the back of these storage lockers and there was a forest next to it. And it was really scary. And then the GPS on my phone started talking and I felt myself almost throw up. That's the first time I've been so scared that I've almost thrown up. But I get you. I haven't really tried it yet. So, I kind of did a little bit of research. People go out, they vlog their experiences, they get like a, like a Starbucks or something. Starbucks. Uh, we don't have Starbucks in Australia, but, uh, what, are, what are, we got Boost Juice? I can get a Boost Juice. Look, here are the people that go out and they're in an I want to be, I want to be just like them. They're so much fun. Let's hear what they have to say. The quarantine thing going on and everywhere's pretty much closed. We thought we might as well go out and explore a little bit and that's pretty much what this rando knot thing is. Basically, there is what is called a quantum number generator. It's just a big number generator. It randomly generates numbers and that's pretty much it. What the fuck do you mean just a big random number generator? It is so much more complex than that. Did you listen to my explanation that I gave? The, the people that worked on this thing worked on a So they're fucking idiots, all right? But they're getting views. I want, I want some views. So guess what? You're coming with me. I'm gonna do a vlog. We're gonna do a fucking a first time around an audio vlog. It's gonna be like two minutes, hopefully. Hopefully we can keep it short. I don't really wanna waste your fucking time. Are you ready to rand or not? We're gonna go to three different locations. Why three locations? Because three is a scientific method and I love science. Mm, oh, delicious, get it in my tummy. I wanna manifest an excellent filming location. Track goes on for a couple kilometers. Oh, okay. We're nearly there. Your destination is on the right. This is our first one, our first location. We're out here now and I had a few different intentions for this spot. I wanted to see a crime, I wanted to get a great location for filming, and I wanted to get some YouTube views. <laughs> so two think, out of three is not bad. Yeah, two out of three, not bad. We saw some crime. <laughs> no. Uh, There's no pokey stop here though, so I'll rip my intentions. That shit, and uh, I haven't really seen any flowers, so rip breeze. <sighs> we found dandelions earlier though. Oh yeah, we did see dandelions. Mmm, <laughs> dandelions. My favorite. Can I get a shot of that. Red ass My intention for this spot was to be fr afraid. Uh, Aaron's was. What was yours, Aaron? Cash and cool Pokemon. Cash and cool Pokemon. Bray, you want to see a dog? Uh, we haven't seen a dog. Aaron called a Sableye. I was kind of spooked out by some massive tall people. Mr. Devito! Would, would a Mr. DeVito please come to the front counter? We have three little children for you. I don't think he's here. Let's do a music video for the Danny DeVito song right now. In this world that we're living in, there's so many people wondering how we ever hope to clean up all this mess that we've made There are people dying in the street Little babies with no food to eat Sometimes it seems we should accept defeat But this won't make us fall There is still one man we can call Danny DeVito the one that we need, oh You're the one who can turn this all around And lift us from the ground, I know You are my hero You're the one who has come to save the day We need you more than words can say 